Hey guys, it is Funny Gamer here, and today I am back with another video. And um, let me just get the sound down a little bit. We'll turn the music down to 50. But as you can see, I'm playing Minecraft, and I am in the new 1.16 update. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff in this 1.16 update. Um, in this video, I'm not really going to be going over, like, everything in the update. I'm more gonna be just going over, um, like, I'm just, like, talking about, like, the new updates out. So, like, the update is out on every Minecraft platform, um, today, and, um, so, yeah, um, last time I checked, it wasn't out on, um, iPhone, but I think it's out now. Huh, there's potion of fire resistance here. I, I did not place that there. But so, you can see, you might be a little confused, but this is a sh new structure called the Bastion Remnant. So this is like a huge new structure in the nether that's like super crazy and awesome. Like it's so huge, it's not even funny. There's like, and like, there's a ton of different types of them. Oh my god, it looks like there's a ton of people down there. But yeah, and then there is some chests, like... Oh, I've already looted those chests, but there's some chests where you can find stuff. And there's four new mobs, I'm um, pretty sure. There's the new, um, so there's the zombified piglin, the zoglin, um, the piglin, if I can find its egg. the piglin and the um the strider there so there's the new pig zombified piglin which is a, just a zombie pigman and um there's the zoglin um which fights the piglin or that's a zombified zoglin i think or I think there's some different Zoglins, but, um, yeah, and then there's the Piglin, which is normal. So, the zombified Piglin is just, like, the zombie Pigman. And then the Piglin is a whole new, like, Pigman that's not dead. And then there's the Strider, which you can see they're shivering because they are not in lava. And if we put these guys in lava, you can see that they swim in lava. And if we grab ourselves, um, let's try and find it right here. Where is it? Or we're gonna need a saddle and, um, there we go. And we're also going to need a um, a warped fungus on a stick and you can pretty much ride these guys and like you can move them around and go through lava pits and it is truly amazing like look at it you can just ride around lava on these guys and can you ride them out of lava? Yeah, you can still ride them out of lava, but they go very slow. So we want to get them back in the lava. And, like, they're going fast. So, like, you can cross huge lava pits with these guys. Another thing over here is the respawn anchor. Um, so there's something you can craft. And let's do slash kill. I'm dead. And then... I respawn here, so you actually have to see the side of it, but um, you can see like you can choose one that you want to respawn at, and then you can see that this one, there's like a little bit that's so if I kill, so we'll go back, make sure we're, oh, broke that one, so we'll respawn at this one, slash kill. 
and then you can see it it goes down because we respawn there slash kill it goes down again and then slash kill so you can die four times before it goes out and charge it so you can see that this goes out and to charge it you use um, glowstone blocks so if we get some glowstone wherever it's at here let's just search for it glowstone and put it in there you can see that you can re regen it and another thing is the new netherite armor so um we let's just get all this stuff out and get some of this new netherite armor so like this stuff is better than diamond and like that's crazy points instead of the cover me in um diamonds it's cover me in debris because you get it from ancient debris um but so you can look more into how to get the netherite armor but i'm just kind of showing you it because this stuff looks sick look at this stuff like so you pretty much um it gives a new use to the um block wherever it is the no can't find it it's called um the it's here i think it's down here yeah it gives a new use to the smithing table we also have the lodestone which i will show you after but the smithing table if we place it down um and then go in it you can upgrade your gear from diamond so if you get a diamond sword and then to get netherite here um we'll get a here i'll kind of show you how it works so let's get this and then place that there and then we get a sword and we're going to need some ancient debris wherever they are um Come on, where's the, there it is. So we get ancient debris and place down like a ton. Like these are like rare new things that you can find when you go mining deep in the nether and do slash and then game mode survival and then mine them. They take a long time to mine. They're kind of like obsidian but it'll give you an ancient debris. Oh, it looks like it sometimes gives you two. Or no, actually, it just gives you one. I just had one in my inventory already. Five, and then um, what you're actually gonna need to do is let's just go back to creative quickly because um, we're going to need a furnace, a furnace and some gold. Come on, gold. It's not letting me get a ton of gold, so we'll just get like that much gold, and then we're going to need a, um some coal for the furnace, and then um, get more coal like that, and then we place down the furnace and put our ancient debris in it right there and then our coal in then it actually goes quite fast so our game mode survival again 
and then we'll keep mining some. Um, so, yeah, and then it'll give you netherite scrap. So, then if we get, um, if you go to the crafting table, you can see that there's a new crafting recipe for the netherite ingot. And then, so, if we get four scraps, and then in the crafting table, we can go, like, you can literally do anything. You can do that. You can do that. You just need four of each. Like, this can be replaced like that. You just need four of each, and you get another right ingot. And if we place that in there, and this in here, we can get another right sword. So it's like better. You can watch other videos to show how it's better. But also, um, let's make sure we're respawned here. Yeah, it looks like we're respawned here. And let's say we're accidentally burning. So it has fire resistance and knockback resistance. And we're like, here, we'll just drop our lodestone because I still need that. And we're like, oh no, no, oh no, 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 no. And then we die. And your stuff's gonna burn. But the thing is, is, um, we're actually gonna have to go into creative or not. Uh oh. Game mode, creative, and then go under here. What? Okay, um. Technical difficulties, please stand by. But you can see that our netherite stuff did not actually burn. Like, you can throw it in lava, and it doesn't burn. So, like, it's... There's the pants, so it doesn't burn. You still have it, even if you lose it. So, that's pretty cool. And then the lodestone, um... If you get a compass, you can see it's going all wacky in the nether. But if we put down a lodestone, and then do this... It'll create an enchanted compass called a lodestone compass. <laughs> you get an achievement called Country Load. Take me home. So that's pretty funny, but it pretty much goes to the lodestone. So you can make your compass point anywhere. So that's a pretty cool feature. And so you don't need your netherite compass anymore. So that's pretty cool. It's like an enchanting compass. And then another cool thing is um, bartering. So, have you ever wanted to trade with villagers? But instead of having a lot of um, emeralds, you have a lot of gold. Well, that's where bartering comes in handy. You see this guy? This guy likes gold. So let's give him gold and he'll be like, Ooh, I want that gold. But he's not going to get that gold for free. Because guess what? He's actually going to give you something. So we got Soul Speed 1. And like, if we get um, a spawn egg, um, let's get Pigman spawn egg. No, there. And spawn like a ton of them. And then we shower them in gold then they're gonna go to that gold and they're gonna give you special stuff look at that so like look they're just showering me in good stuff like watch as it just explodes out of them and then you can just pick it all up. And like, there's a ton of stuff you can get. Looks like we're almost out gold. So let's just give them a little more. 
So you can pretty much trade with them, and we got like iron boots with soul speed, and the soul speed enchantment makes you go faster on soul sand, since soul sand is really slow. You got a ton of good stuff. And the last thing I'll show you is another new structure. Locate, um, what's it called? It's called, oh, there's also nether fossils. So there's four new, um, here, ruined portal. So there's four new biomes. Um, I'll let you explore those for yourself, but, um, you can see here we have in the middle of one of the new biomes with ash everywhere there's a huge ruined portal and it's very cool and you can see the clocks going insane but like there's some stuff in this chest and like you can fix up the portal and so it's a really cool feature like there's gold you can get a ton of cool stuff from these ruined portals and another cool thing, if, let's say, that Sash Kill, respawn, Sash Kill, respawn, until, until we respawn in here. And we can also, this is the first um, multi-dimension um, structure, so you can also find them in the overworld. And then we wait for the chunks to load in. So you can see that there's a ruined portal. This one's actually almost fixed. You just have to replace the crying obsidian. And then grab. Okay, well, now it's broken, but sometimes you can find obsidian in here and flint and steel. And then you can kind of get the portal fixed up. So now you don't even have to go mining to get in the portal. You can just make a portal like this. So that's pretty much it for, well, not it. There's so much stuff in this update, and I'll let you more explore it for yourself. This is just, like, kind of showing you, like, the main features. Um, I did not explore all of the new biomes, but it'll be better if you guys explore it for yourself. So... Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!